Hey there, I wanted to share my VS setup with you. Sorry, this isn't in a docker, easy to digest. I've got a short amount of time before I go out and leave tomorrow. So I thought I would just quickly show you what I do. So uh, first of all, I'm showing you my command prompt. I use a thing called Commander. I don't use the built-in PowerShell UI just because I love to have tabs. Although I've heard that Windows 10 is adding tabs soon. Um, I work with repos in the ASP.NET Core GitHub organization, and I'll show you how I use VS on one of those, which is called the extensions repo. Um, in this repo, we have a file called start VS. This is something that we found was necessary because we are dogfooding early builds of .NET Core, and we have to set some environment variables to teach VS how to actually launch, or how to use new versions of .NET Core. That's something that would be nice to see improved in Visual Studio in the future, but I think most people outside of Microsoft probably won't care too much about that because they use stable releases of .NET Core, which usually just work fine. Um, I'll show you first my window layout, and then I'll go over some of the extensions that I typically use. Um, I'm also actually a pretty heavy VS Code user, so I like the consistency of having Solution Explorer on the left that aligns with how things work when you're in VS Code. Um, I, let's see, I always keep the test explorer hidden over here and only pop it out when I'm running tests. Uh, I use task run explorer. Uh, I don't use it in this repo, but I use it in some of the other ones that have like NPM tasks that I need to run more often. I also use an extension called build logging. When I'm debugging things in the project system, this produces bin logs, which are super useful. Uh, let me actually show you some of the, the full list of extensions I have. Um, okay, so this is the thing I just mentioned, the project system tools. As I also mentioned, I use VS Code quite a bit, so I like to launch that. Uh, we use editor config in our team. It's nice to have some IntelliSense there. Um, as I'm looking at these, I'm realizing <laughs> most of these are created by Mads. Um, let's see, I occasionally do markdown editing in Visual Studio, but to be honest, I've mostly done that in VS Code lately. Uh, this is my favorite extension, add new file. Um, I really love how simple and easy this one is to use. If you haven't used it, you should give it a try. Basically, you can just do, I think it's Shift F2, and it asks you the file name. And based on the file name, like .cs or .html or things like that, it infers which item template you want to use. It's a lot easier than needing to right-click, uh, go to add a file, navigate in the UI to the right template. Um, I love that I can do most of that through the keyboard. Uh, I use LiveShare quite a bit when I want to share my environment with other people. I occasionally do pull requests from the GitHub extension, but to be honest, it's mostly done through command line these days. And I think that's it. There's some other ones that are just installed by default that I don't use, like the snapshot debugger. Anyways, I hope that answers your questions. I hope you're able to use this somehow. Um, feel free to ping me on Twitter if you have any questions about this. Thanks so much.